And still talking health, according to recent studies and research by gynecologists, fibroid remains the leading cause of infertility in African women. Here in Nigeria, there are many misconceptions about the causes and management of the disease. Many women have resorted to taking herbal concoctions to treat it. In this Sunday special, health correspondent Uluwa Toyabo takes a look at the causes, symptoms and treatment of fibroid in relation to rampant infertility in Nigeria. Many marriages have been destroyed due to childlessness, a situation in which a woman is unable to get pregnant after many years of unprotected sexual intercourse. Gynecologists believe that if a woman can't get pregnant after one year of regular intercourse, it's a sign of infertility, either in the woman or the man. There are many factors that can lead to infertility in a woman, but experts in the area of reproductive health have identified fibroid as the leading cause of infertility among African women. Some women still believe that fibroid is as a result of some demonic attack, while some men, after their wives have been diagnosed with fibroid, accuse them of being promiscuous. What exactly is fibroid? What category of women are predisposed to fibroid? Fibroid is a growth that you find only in women. And of course it's because the women are the only ones that have wounds. You find it more in the African women than you find in the Caucasians. Only grows in the womb. Um, if a woman who secretes hormones, um, progesterone and estrogen basically, um, secretes more of it, she has a tendency of having more of the fibroid because what really happens is that the fibroid causes a kind of regeneration of the growth. We find it also in people who are obese. Apparently, maybe sometimes we look at the fact that it might just be what they are eating. Titila Yomi Okon is 35 years. She has been married for about five years, but has no child of her own. She explained that at a point, she thought she was pregnant due to the size of her belly until a doctor and a founder of a non-governmental organization took interest in her case. We realized that in our society, we hear a lot of bad stories concerning fibroid. Not only that, and we also realized in our experience that the people who really need help don't have the means. Why would a woman go and subject herself to a treatment that would eventually destroy her womb? It's ignorance and poverty. So Irene Fibroid Foundation would educate the masses and also give the service. Find a way of making sure that nobody is unable to have children, nobody uh, dies or, or lives with uh, uh, what we call morbidity because of fibroid and the related problems of treating it. After going through different types of medical testing, Titi Layomi is now ready to go for the operation. TBC News crew had the opportunity to witness the procedure that lasted about an hour. The doctors explained that since the tumor has been removed, Titi Layomi can now have children of her own since fibroid was the main cause of her infertility. To the African woman is significant because there abroad people may not bother about having children, but in our environment, culture uh, requires that you should have a child. So we look at it more because it causes infertility. Then the other thing about it is that it causes a lot of abortive procedures. So when you are dealing with fibroid, you would of necessity have to deal with fertility issues. According to reproductive health experts, fibroid is in every woman and requires no surgery if it's not preventing fertility or poses a danger. Oluwato in Abotivisi News, Lagos.